In this video, we will introduce the electric field, how to calculate the strength of the electric field, detect its direction, and how to draw the electric field lines. The electric field is an electric property associated with each point in space when a charge is present in any form. So whether it's a particle, a charged particle, or an object that carries a certain amount of a charge. Whenever we have a charge, then we have an electric field. The magnitude and the direction of the electric field are expressed by the value E. So we symbolize the electric field as E, which is called the electric field strength or electric field intensity. Or simply we can say the electric field. So we can use uh, three terms for the electric field. Electric field, electric field strength, or electric field intensity. A simpler way to define the electric field it is the space around a charge where it can affect or apply an electric force, an attraction or a repulsion, on another charge or a charged object. So if we have this charge, the space around it is its electric field where it is effective, where it can apply electric forces. So if you have a charge at this point, it will be either repelled or attracted towards this charge. If we have it there, same thing, repelled or attracted, depending on the polarity, of course. If it was out of the field, there will be no effect, there will be no force acting on it. The electric field at a point A, the location of cure is represented by the following equation. So to calculate the electric field, we use this equation. The electric field strength is equal to the electric force divided by the charge or the amount of force per unit charge. But we know that the electrostatic force is F equals Kc Q1 Q2 over R squared or as I wrote them there, Kc Q which is the source of the charge or the main charge, Q which is the tested charge or the small one that will be affected by the force over R squared where r is the distance between them now if we replace f in this formula we will get this so e as you see let's compare e equals instead of f i wrote this one over q so over q now i separated the absolute value so it will be kc q absolute value of q over r squared now q and q they cross out and we still have this form, so the strength of the electric field can be found using this formula, E equals Kc Q over R squared, where Kc is Coulomb's constant, Q is the source of a charge, and R squared is the distance from the source of a charge to the point where I want to measure the electric field. So those are the definitions of the terms. To know the direction of the electric field, we will follow a rule, which says that the electric field follows the direction of the electric force applied on a positive tested charge. So if I have a charged object and I want to know the direction of its electric field, I put a positive tested charge or a small charge that has a positive polarity next to it. I will observe the electric force, which means I will see in which direction it will move, which will be the direction of the electric force. The field will take the direction of the force. Let's see. This is the source charge, or the main one. And this is the tested charge, or the one that will experience the force. Okay, they are positive. Both are positive. So they will repel each other. So the effect on the tested charge, I said the effect on the tested charge, will be a force of repulsion in this direction. Okay. So the electric field will go the same way so the electric field follows the direction of the electric force applied on a positive tested charge so when i had a positive source charge the electric field and the electric force were in the same direction let's see what happens if this was this one the source was negatively charged we will be following the same rule so the electric field follows the direction of the electric force applied on a positive test charge. Now, negatively charged source and positively charged test, 
I will say the source will attract the tested charge this way, so the electrostatic force or the electric force will be in this direction. I follow the rule, then I will say the electric field should be in the same direction. So, whether the source is positive or negative, the electric field will follow the direction of the electrostatic force as long as the tested charge is positive. So, regardless of the source, we check the tested charge. What is the direction of the force? The electric field follows the direction of the force. So, if this is a positive source charge, the electric field will go away from it at all points. And if it was a negative source, the electric field will go towards the charge. So, in this case, we will say for the positive, we will say the electric field diverges away, and for the negative test charge, we will say it converges into. So, if we go back. this one so as you see the electric field was pointing away from the charge for this one the electric field was pointing towards the charge we will be following the same rule so the electric field follows the direction of the electric force applied on a positive test charge now negatively charged source and positively charged test I will say the source will attract the tested charge this way, so the electrostatic force or the electric force will be in this direction. I follow the rule, then I will say the electric field should be in the same direction. So, whether the source is positive or negative, the electric field will follow the direction of the electrostatic force as long as the tested charge is positive. So, regardless of the source, we check the tested charge. What is the direction of the force? The electric field follows the direction of the force. So, if this is a positive source charge, the electric field will go away from it at all points. And if it was a negative source, the electric field will go towards the charge. So, in this case, we will say for the positive, we will say the electric field diverges away, and for the negative test charge, we will say it converges into. So if we go back to this one, so as you see, the electric field was pointing away from the charge. For this one, the electric field was pointing towards the charge. So wherever you put wherever you put the test the test charge the electric field will point towards the negatively so a char, uh, charged object source so if the positive charge was anywhere around this negative source the electric field will point towards the negatively charged source as we see in the figures shown now for positive, the electric field points away, or it diverges. For negative, it points in, or it converges. Let's see how we solve exercises for this concept. A positive tested charge of a magnitude of 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 8 coulombs. So, this one is the amount of a charge, or the magnitude of the charge. Experiences a force of... 1.5 newtons and the direction is given towards east so we have the direction what is the electric field at the position of the test charge let's see how we do it okay since we have the charge and the force and we want the field then we will use this formula so f is given q is given e is an unknown we replace the values for F and Q. F is 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 newtons. Q is 2.4 times the power of negative 8 coulombs. We get 6.25 times 10 to the power of 4 newtons per coulombs. How did we know that the direction is east? Okay. The direction of the force is east. And the tested charge itself is positive. We follow the rule. It says 
the direction of the electric field follows the direction of the electric force applied on a positive tested charge. So since this, for, uh, this charge is positive, then the field will follow the direction of the force. Another exercise. What charge exists on a tested charge that experiences a force is given. The force is given in this case. The force is 1.4 newtons. At a point where the electric field intensity is this much. So now for this question, the electric field is given and the force is given. We need to find the charge or the magnitude of the charge. We use the same formula E equals F over Q. We replace F and E and then we find the answer for Q as 2.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 coulombs. Since the directions are not given, we cannot tell about the polarity of this charge. Another exercise, the electric field in the atmosphere is about 150 newtons per coulombs downwards. So the direction and the magnitude of the electric field are given. What is the direction of the force on a negatively charged particle? Okay. The rule says that the field and the force have the same direction if the particle or the charge was positive. Now, since it's negative, then they should have opposite directions. Then as the electric field is downwards, then the force should be upwards. So, since the charge experiencing the force is negative, then the field and the force will be in opposite directions. Part B, find the electric force on an electron with a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs. E equals F over Q. We replace this direct application question. E is given as 150. We replace by 150 equals F, which is the unknown over Q, which is the charge of one electron, negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Then we find the answer for F and we get 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 17 newtons upwards. Compare the force in part B with the force of the gravity. We find the force of the gravity acting on the electron, which is M times G, the mass times the gravity. We replace to get the answer. As you see, this answer is 8.92 times 10 to the power of negative 30. This one is 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 17 newtons. So, this force is like 1 trillion smaller than this force, more than 1 trillion. So Fg is much smaller than Fe. Now, electric field lines. What are electric field lines? What uh, do they indicate? How do we draw them uh, for positive, for negative? If we had a system of charges, we will see all of this. The electric field lines are only a way of representing electric fields. They do not exist in reality, but we use them. They are imaginary lines. We use them to represent the field. They are not the electric field itself. You can represent them. You can represent electric fields with electric field lines, as we will see in the coming slides. An electric field line indicates the direction of the force due to the electric field on a positive tested charge. So, as we mentioned before about the rule for the direction for detecting the direction of the electric field, the electric field follows the direction of the force on a positive tested charge. We will see this also on electric field lines. The direction of the electric field at any point is a tangent drawn to the electric field line at that point. We will explain what this means and the spacing between the lines indicates the strength of the field the field is stronger when they are close together when the lines are dense or close together and weaker when the lines are apart or less dense okay when more than one electric charge is present the electric fields add together for example for this case let's see if we had this charge alone, a positive charge, as we saw it, uh, in the previous slides, we will say for a positive charge, the electric field diverges away from the charge, away from the source. Since we have two positively charged objects, 
this one and this one the normal interaction is that they will repel then the electric field lines will bend away from each other so let's say this electric field line this one it was like this but due to the repulsion it bends away so it becomes in this shape same thing for this one same thing for this one same thing for this one now the direction of the electric field is tangent at a point so at this point the electric field is tangent okay and the electric force if i put a particle at this point the, the particle will, will experience a force in this direction along the arrow okay if we had two negative charges the same thing before we said that for a negative charge the electric field converges towards the charge we have two negative charges their electric fields they converge into the charge but since they are like charges they repel they cause the electric field lines to bend away from each other the same thing for the direction of the electric field at a point now the third case when we have this case we have unlike charges the electric field lines join between them they converge towards each other but still out of positive out of positive into negative into negative so it's always out of positive into negative out of positive into negative 